marketplace for Central Florida short sales. My name is Eric Mielis. Uh, let's get into today's show. Before we do, really quickly, want to announce um, one sponsor and a new one just as of today. Really excited to announce him. Uh, he runs a great business. I'm really excited to uh, bring his services uh, to everyone that watches the show, comments on the show, um, supports me and, and what I'm trying to do here in the community. Um, first, we have Known Media. Incredible, incredible guy, Irwin. He's fantastic. If any of you agents, brokers, or anybody out there looking to increase your online exposure, your online personal reputation and your brand, your social media campaigns, please give me a call. Give Irwin a call. Look him up. The screenshot of his website is right here in front of you. He does an amazing job with his crew, and I really applaud them and appreciate their, their help and assistance in uh, trying to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish and helping me with some great tips, okay? And also, just new to the show, we have Martin who runs Arrow Photography, a uh, phenomenal, phenomenally talented individual. He's so good. I want you guys to go to his website, please. You can see it right here. And look at his portfolio of pictures. He's so talented. The way that he does his, um, you know, just the way he captures images are just, um, they're really cool. <laughs> so I can go on and on. I love photography. He's a great guy. He'll take care of you. Any events, um, certain things that he does, please look him up online. Um, I can link it up here on the show, and uh, you guys can check him out. Uh, tell him I sent you. He'll take care of you, okay? On to today's show, we have one, two, three, four, five, six short sales to announce. You know that I'm here every week um, bringing forth the message of short sales, helping homeowners who are in distress, giving them little tip, tips, and, uh, <laughs> tips and information, and then... Um, Showcasing agents and brokers out here, giving them a platform so they can market their properties and get contracts and help their seller avoid foreclosure, help them to structure deals and continue to soak up the short sale inventory. So let's get into today's show, okay? First one, incredible house as you can see, Gardens of Isleworth, five bedroom, five bath, 5,626 square feet. I mean, is this a masterpiece or what? This home has never been lived in. It is brand new, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning home. Great garden villa. Um, you have Wolf, Viking, and Sub-Zero appliances. It is a masterpiece. It is a short sale as well. Um, built in 2008. Listed for 2.9 by Jill Irwin and Patrick Irwin of Irwin Realty Group, LLC. Great job, Jill. Always see her luxury listings online. She does a fantastic job, and her crew over there, they're, they're uh, really luxury leaders, and I commend them for uh, you know, helping out sellers in this particular predicament to uh, you know, sell this type of property. I'm sure she'll get some, some hits because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous home, okay? Uh, second, Poinciana, four bedroom, three bath, 2,308 square feet, short sale, listed for $83,000 by JT... Averez of Overton Realty Incorporated, okay? Next one, Poinciana as well, three bedroom, two bath, 1,285 square feet. This is a short sale listed for $53,500. Wow, can't believe it. Um, Fabiola Matos of Larimar Realty, okay? On to the next one, Sky Lake South, popular area. Four bedroom, two bath, 1,670 square feet, short sale listed for $129,000. $900, one day on the market, listed by Nicholas Wilde of Wet Metro City Realty. And the last two, Lee Vista Square, three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,473 square feet, short sale listed for $95,000 by Jerome Stewart of Stillwater Homes Realty, LLC, okay? And the last one, I can't say enough about this community. I think I feature a couple shows every single day. Uh, Morningside at Lake Nona. I love Lake Nona. It has amazing potential. Great medical city being built there. It's going to be the home to many, um, whether it's investment, whether it's residential, whether it's rental. It just is an incredible, incredible neighborhood. Two bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,251 square feet. This is a short sale listed at $130,000 by Allen and Pamela Maycomer. I know I've seen their names so many times in this area. They're specialists there in the Lake Nona area. I commend them as well. I see that they do a lot of work in the community. They know their stuff. And um, 
good to see that they're helping somebody avoid foreclosure as well with this short sale property that they got listed new. Okay? Anyway, those are today's short sales that I wanted to announce on the Today Show. Um, real quick, as I always do, little, little tidbit um, for seller. Uh, I had a conversation the other day, and I, I kind of bring forth these shows, and I use real-world experiences that I'm going through where I'm out in the community talking to people. Um, sellers, important that you understand when you're doing a short sale, that does mean you're marketing your home on the open market in hopes that a ready, willing, and able, able buyer, I don't know what's wrong with me today, I'm <laughs> ready, willing, and able buyer um, brings forth a purchase agreement and agrees to buy your home for a certain amount. This enables your agent to go to the lender and negotiate a short sale payoff on your behalf. That's the goal. So, I just want you to come to the realization that you have to sell your house. In order to do so, the agent will have to do certain things to market this property to get a competent, ready, willing, and able buyer. MLS pictures clean it up, um, declutter the house. You want to make it marketable, okay? That also will mean you might have to have a lockbox on the house. You might have to allow buyers to walk through your home if you want to sell it, they want to see it. Um, I know there's some inconveniences built in. I, I know it's a pain to a lot of people and it's different. Change is always hard, it's difficult. However, realize that you're saving yourself from foreclosure which is the worst possible outcome that you could imagine and the last thing you want to do is just sit around in your house not do anything and one day have a knock on the door because a sheriff is telling you you gotta leave with your kids okay that's that's not that's not what we want so let's try hard let me give you these pieces of information so that you can understand really what this process entails, how it, it, it's performed, and how eventually it'll lead you to uh, you know, reestablishing your life and um, eventually buying a new home in the future and building yourself back up and doing what you need to do. Okay? So, anyway, uh, again, for today's show, please look up Martin and, uh, uh, and Irwin. They're great, great sponsors. Thank you so much. Um, for agents and brokers out there, send me an email if you want one of your short sales um, listed on this show. This way I can promote it, market it, help your sellers avoid foreclosure, help you get more exposure for your listing inventory. I'd love to do so. It's what I do. Okay. Um, secondly, this link right here is a link to our approved short sale list. I took the liberty and me and my team to create a database of all approvals in the city. We're still growing it, okay? So for home buyers watching, if you want to buy a short sale, which is a great home, great deal, help someone avoid foreclosure, and get a great deal for yourself in great condition, um, however, you don't have to wait the nine months of time some of these short sales take to negotiate and buy. You can access this link right here and buy an approved short sale, okay? Which I call ultra short sales. And um, other than that, you can always reach me on my cell phone. Anybody watching the show, if you have questions, concerns, even uh, comments on the show, I'd love to, to take them any way I can. 407-383-2189, okay? Everybody have a great day. Ultra Processing TV. Take care.